Sorry to interrupt. Please, do not interrupt me. Dr. Davies, this is our daughter, Emmeline. Nice to meet you, Emmeline. He's a nephrologist. <laughs> Fancy word for kidney doctor. I have your test results. Could you uh, give us a minute, kiddo? It's all right, Michael. She can stay. Please, go ahead. It's not good news. Your left kidney is shut down. Your right is functioning at 10%. You're in complete kidney failure. What? How did this happen? We can't pinpoint the specific cause, sir, but your wife's diabetes was clearly a factor. Well, I've been watching my levels. I know. I, I spoke with your endocrinologist this morning. This is not the result of any lapse on your part, Claudia Joy. Um, kidney failure can come on rapidly with virtually virtually no symptoms. I, I wish I could tell you why. So what now? Now we begin hemodialysis three times a week. Dialysis? For how long? Potentially the rest of your mother's life. What about a transplant? We want to, we, we're definitely going to talk about that down the road. But right now, our priority is to stabilize Claudia Joy. Once you get your strength back, we'll go into the transplant process in detail. Can her kidneys get better? I'm afraid not. Her condition's irreversible. Uh, sorry. Look, I know this is a lot to absorb. We'll have plenty of time to discuss it. The good news here is that kidney disease is life-altering, not life-threatening. You can still live a full life. We know how to treat this. Thank you. Emmeline, let me start by saying how much I appreciate your willingness to donate a kidney to your mom. It's a courageous and loving gesture. I wish more people would follow your example. Unfortunately, you're not a viable candidate. What? Why not? We're the same blood type. Yes, but a number of factors go into determining a match. Because your mother developed diabetes later in life, there's a possibility that you could develop it as well. If that happens, you'll need both kidneys. I thought you only needed one. In a perfectly healthy body, yes. But I'm healthy now and I want to do it. I understand. But as a physician, I wouldn't let you take the risk. We have a principle to never endanger one patient's health for the sake of another. We understand. No, we don't. I don't. We'll have to find another donor. Yeah, in the meantime, my mom feels like hell. That's enough, Emily. Dr. Davies is on our side. I'm sorry. Don't be. Your daughter's a remarkable young woman. Thank you. 